Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we are discussing banking here in Thailand and the notion of private and confidential banking. I thought of making this video after reading a recent article in the Patia Mail. That's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Does Thailand Really Want Humble Expats Anymore? So I urge those who are watching this video, go check out this article in detail. I'm going to quote a line from it. But there's a lot of insight in there, and I urge those who are watching this video, go check that out and, and gain some insight thereby. Quoting directly, the notion that your banking is a private and confidential affair, which is none of anybody else's business, is rapidly becoming an anachronism. Well, I tend to agree with that statement. That said, I tend to disagree with it happening. I think it's really wrong. And I, look, I'm sorry, I'll just be the person to say this. People do get to hide things. You know, people do get to have some level of privacy. I'm constantly reminded in the modern era in which we're living, and especially the social media era, of the term glasnost. Everybody always remembers the term perestroika regarding or as it pertained to the fall of the Soviet Union. That term pertained to the introduction of free enterprise into the Soviet system, which many attribute to the fall of the Soviet system. But few actually remember there was another program that was happening concomitantly with that one, and that was the notion of glasnost, which oftentimes I've seen Westerners translate that term to be transparency. When I translate that term, or where I've seen it translated by folks that have some level of fluency in Russian, it's been translated as the word publicity, which is a very different thing from transparency. Publicity just means a lot of things are seen, but transparency kind of implies a solution occurs. You know, at the end of the day, this notion of publicity, this notion that you should have, I mean, that's the implied message that keeps getting sent when we're hearing about digital wallets and banking and, and know your customer and money laundering and all of this kind of stuff. It's, you can't have any privacy in your financial transactions. That is the message being conveyed. And I can't say how wrong that is. And moreover, it's a bad business strategy. It's bad strategy for economics. If you want to encourage business, if you want to encourage economic activity in your jurisdiction and thereby increase your tax base, you want to have at least a basic level of financial privacy where people can transact their business outside of the ever-present scrutiny of a nanny minder ever-present, voracious, tax-gobbling state. I mean, you don't really want that. I'm not against taxation. I'm, you know, I'm kind of an odd person insofar as I have what some would call sort of libertarian leanings. I don't view myself as a libertarian per se, although maybe I'm adjacent. I agree with a lot of what, you know, they're on about. I, but I do believe, yeah, you do need some taxes. We need some roads around here. You know, we need some police. We need, you know, some basic you know, services, and yeah, we need to pay some tax for that. That is what it is. I can, I can sort of deal with that. That said, and the thing to take away from this video is, look, at the end of the day, do we really want to live in a world where, you know, we have no financial privacy? Because that's the road we're on. And frankly, one of the things I loved about Thailand when I first got here was the fact that you do have financial freedom. You, well, at least you used to have substantial financial privacy when transacting your business. I think that was very conducive to a lively economy here in Thailand and a free enterprise sort of paradigm. And I think that, I think that Thailand would be, if you will, I, I do not think it would be in Thailand's best interests to stray too far away from that paradigm. 